Hello everybody, today I'm commentating my own speedrun. That's right, I'm a speedrunner now, but for what game? My own game. This is Odyssey of Dremadir, which you can play the demo on Steam, but if you're interested in playing the most up-to-date version as of this recording, you're gonna have to download the Google Drive version, which can only be accessed via our Discord. So if you join the link below, you will be able to find where to play it. So without further ado, the first step is to enable speedrun mode when you first start a new game. This will open an in-game timer, which tracks the speedrun that this speedrun is using. So it pauses between load screens, but other than that, it is always present. And for me personally, and us devs of the game, it is our metric for timing the game so far. So basically we have the opening. We really don't have anything we can do, but watch this for a moment. We will get control over the cutscene very shortly. When dialogue pops up, we'll be able to take some control of that. Now, I actually lost like half a second there because I could have skipped her walk cycle, but we just spam through the dialogue. I like to, to combine spacebar plus enter. It gives the most accurate cadence for skipping dialogue. And we're just going to progress through the level. Let's get past this dialogue. We're going to get into our first encounter where we really get to see the tech in play. So we're just going to wait. It's an active battle JRPG type, so we'll be able to... Wait our turns. Pretty standard. And you can see the in-game timer in the top left. Now that was actually a critical strike, which is just some of the RNG involved with the run that makes it so much fun. And that's that. I'm just gonna skip everything, skip the fast travel campfire. We're going to take the left path, because that skips another encounter, which we don't need. And we're also going to skip an encounter right up there. We want to stay away from the little box that would... The invisible box that would proc the enemies. We stay away from that. We're going to fight these guys. Now, this is a scripted lose sequence. You know, you're probably going to get a couple spoilers here, by the way. But if we don't fight back, they hit way harder than us. So if we don't fight back, we're going to save time. Because otherwise, it's going to take time to play out animations. So we're just going to skip that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skip all the dialogue. We gotta watch the owl. Unfortunately, that is not optional. You will watch the owl. Get knocked off the cliff. Bye, Codron. Talk to the spirit, as per normally. I gotta find his little missing sprites. They look like balls of green eco. I swear that was not the intention. Now, I kind of couldn't get around the rock, and I fumbled a little bit around these places. So I skipped it, but I knew I was going to have to come back, so... Bam. And there we are. We got all six of them. Going to get our magic powers from the tree. And we're going to go do the game's first boss fight, and we're only 2.15 in so far. More dialogue skipping. My favorite thing to do. Wait for Alta to open the door. Thank you. You can also sprint in our game by holding the shift button. It's obviously going to help you move a lot faster. So the first boss fight, now that we have magic, we can just spam our light strike attack, which is really strong. It does magic damage versus physical, and most enemies have low magic defense. So we're just going to spam all of our AP on him. Our AP is like basically mana, so we're going to use it all up on him. Just three attacks in a row. And when Breton gets below 50% health, he'll enter his repost stance. So if you attack him during this time, he'll counterattack and take zero damage. So we're just going to wait for that to end. I'm going to wait him out. Alright, boom. Bam. 36, decent roll, it's fine. See, so yeah, he's looking kind of weak now. Pretty much just have to hope that he low rolls. That was a that was a bit of a high roll. I don't think he can really beat us at this point because we've just hammered through. We're so much faster than him. 
We well, usually get two attacks off per his one attack if you're fast enough. Another cutscene to skip, my favorite. And I'm just spamming the, the space bar and the enter key right now. Like, if it can be skipped, it will be skipped. I even skipped the camera panning to the owl again, so I don't even get to see him. Gonna go talk to the tree again. Skip all the dialogues. Now Daciana is also gonna get her magic powers and we're going to move on. Sprinting the whole way, Daciana ain't even going to keep up with us. <sighs> Skipping the village of Rob. But if you walk past, if you take this pattern, you can kind of walk past the, the well a little bit. And when you walk past it, you can regen a little bit of your AP, which is, you don't, you're not going to regen the whole thing. But there's a little bit of RNG to that too, because you have to spam click it and it regens like a margin of your AP every time. So if you're lucky, you might get a refill of two per click, but usually it's one because our AP is so low. It's like percent base margin. So you're going to get a little bit of your AP back, and then we're going to hold on to it for an upcoming fight because it's going to give Kadrin just enough AP to be able to use Light Strike again, which of course is a really high damage ability. I'm going to skip this cutscene, you know how it goes. And get our gal Gretka on board. So now we have three party members, which means even more damage output. Navigate the ruins. Pretty standard. There's nothing, nothing crazy going on here. And meet our first mutant, which is a Cyclops. And this is where we're going to use the extra AP that we regen. But first, we're going to save Gretka's AP. She has skills too, but we're going to save them. And that was a very, very high roll of damage. That was very lucky. Daciana also has magic spells she can use now, which is just more reliable than her physical attack because her magic attacks have higher accuracy, so she's more likely to land them. But also, they're just going to do more damage because her physical attack is really weak. And this is where we're going to use Gretka's AP because her skill shot lets her hit things in a line. So if you can get lucky... If enemies line up luckily like that, you can hit more than one, it's going to save you so much time. And it's going to be more... It's a better utilization of her AP rather than a single target like the Cyclops was. It gets tricky though because you don't always get good lineups. Where enemies move can sometimes be really random. Yeah, I tried to get the... <laughs> I tried to see if I could get him in with that skill shot, that extra one, and I could not. So we're just going to clean up. And now Gritka is out of AP, so he's just going to attack normally. Make our way through this little building. Poor guy is not having a fun time. Now, I tried to do the same trick with this well, but it's a little stingier and I wasn't able to pull it off, so I lost time with that, like a second or two. But it also means that I'm not going to have any extra AP for this fight, so it's up to Daciana's magic damage to take this guy down, and she does land. Unfortunate. But... Gretka able to tank that bleeding jab from the Cyclops. Now Daciana missed... And Kadrin also missed. It's going to cost us. If they had both hit, this might have been a sub-8 run. Uh, Daciana was hit with the bleeding jab, and then she also got afflicted by bleed, but luckily we don't need her for the rest of the fight, so she can die. It's fine. Because now we are finished with our encounters. Uh, Should have known that rock was there. <laughs> Because we want to stay low to avoid, in the evening and the nighttime, there are a set of monsters that come out here that try to block the way, but you can go around them if you're real careful. And there we have it, our 8.15 run, according to in-game timer. You can retime this 
for a more accurate time, but that is the metric that this run is going off of, is using the in-game speedrun timer. So, hope you guys learn, and hopefully it piqued your interest.